Goku is not a hero, at least not in a way that you may think. Now I know many of you would want to say, well of course he is, he saved the world time and time again. But hear me out, because all of that was basically just a byproduct of his selfish desires. The perception of how Goku is perceived as a hero is understandable, but is generally wrong once you take a true dive at his character. First, let's acknowledge why many people see Goku as a hero. In the American dub of Dragon Ball Z, he's often depicted as the quintessential good guy, always willing to sacrifice himself for others, never hesitating to fight even and inspiring hope. This portrayal paints him as a selfless warrior which fits the mold of a traditional hero, but that's not really the whole story for him. There are many instances where the DBZ dub would make it sound like Goku was doing the right thing for the right reasons, when in reality, it was built on selfish desires. A prime example being when Goku had Krillin spare Vegeta in the Saiyan saga, and Goku's reasons differ from both the DBZ dub and the manga interpretation. The DBZ dub made it sound like Goku wanted to spare Vegeta because he wanted to show mercy, while the original interpretation was so that Goku can just have another fight with him. We have got to stop this guy while we have the chance! He's pure evil! No! Listen, just let him go, Krillin. Show him what it means to be merciful. Merciful?! When Piccolo first came to us, he was just as evil as his father had been. And now... And now he's one of us. If we don't finish him now, he's gonna lay low until he has his strength back and then come here and wipe out the rest of humanity. You're right. He probably will. As long as he's alive, nobody on Earth is safe. But you've got to listen to me. This might sound crazy. Just now, when it looked like you were about to kill him, I couldn't help but think it'd be such a waste. But I've got to admit, deep down, I was pretty excited. Maybe it's because I'm a Saiyan too, but when I see somebody who's that strong, my heart starts racing because I realize I still have farther to go. Then there's also Goku's speech to Frieza about him being a Super Saiyan. The DBZ dub differs from the manga and even DBZ Kai in his interpretation of Goku in that the dub paints him as the savior of the universe while the original vision was just him spouting out his anger that has been unleashed because of Frieza. Now if we return to the original Japanese version in Akira Toriyama's manga, we get a different flavor of Goku. While he certainly battles powerful foes and saves the Earth, his motivations and actions often blur the lines of heroism. For instance, Goku's decision to bring back villains like Vegeta and Majin Buu for a good fight demonstrates a rather self-serving desire for challenge over moral responsibility. He views battles as games, often prioritizing his love for fighting over the safety of the planet. This brings us to a critical point. Goku's obsession with training and fighting often leads to catastrophic consequences. Think about it. How many times has Goku's desire to get stronger put everyone at risk? When he fought Cell, for instance, he chose to let Gohan take the lead believing in the greater challenge philosophy. This nearly resulted in Earth's destruction. We also have his infamous moment in the Tournament of Power arc, where his desire for wanting to fight the other universes leads to their inevitable destruction. This has to be the worst offense for Goku in this case, especially since Beerus was pleading with Goku to leave it alone and not have King Zeno remember of such a thing. Goku embodies a unique blend of characteristics, bravery, tenacity, but also a kind of irresponsibility. In many ways, he's more of a chaotic neutral character. He fights for the thrill and challenge rather than a clear moral cause which can lead to chaos more than order. This isn't the typical hero's journey where the hero fights for justice. Goku's journey is more about personal growth through battle. Now let's compare him to other shonen heroes like Naruto and Deku. Both have strong moral compasses and clear motivations that drive their actions. While they have their own personal goals, they fight for their friends, for peace, and for a better future. Goku, however, sometimes seems more like a catalyst for conflict rather than a protector. He even seems to relish the chaos that strong opponents bring into his life. A prime example at the start of the Android Saga being that if Goku was only thinking about protecting the Earth, he wouldn't have agreed with Vegeta in wanting to just train to beat the androids and just do what Bulma suggested, which is to wish to find the location of Dr. Jiro and end him before he creates the androids. Had Goku done that, the planet would have been spared from the androids' wrath. And I'll spare you my wrath if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm dropping videos like this on a consistent basis, so be sure to stick around for more content like this. You won't regret it. Now you might be wondering, but what about his friendships and his willingness to protect his friends and loved ones? Absolutely Goku cares about his friends and family, but it's important to recognize that his relationships are often tied to his competitive nature. He sees them as equals in battle rather than simple companions. This complicates the idea of heroism as he seems to find value in the thrill of battle over their safety at times. He even states to Android 17 that he doesn't view himself as a hero, but more so that he'll do what he needs to in order to fix the problem that he started, in this case inciting the Tournament of Power, which would lead to the end of his family and friends. His actions with Vegeta highlight this aspect. Goku encourages Vegeta to become stronger, but sometimes at the risk of unleashing dangerous threats or even in human moments, like when Vegeta was willing to miss out on training to be by Bulma's side for her pregnancy. This dynamic emphasizes Goku's willingness to push boundaries without fully considering the consequences. And let's not forget how he treats his enemies. Goku 
Goku often extends compassion to his foes, giving them chances to redeem themselves or become allies. While this can be seen as noble, it can also be naive. His faith in the potential for goodness in everyone can lead to significant threats returning to cause havoc, like we saw with characters like Vegeta and Frieza. So is Goku a hero? Well, it depends on your definition of heroism. If you view a hero as someone who fights for justice and protects others without selfish motives, Goku's actions often fall short. However, if you consider him a hero in the sense of someone who inspires through strength and challenges, he certainly fits that bill. The differences in his portrayal between the American dub and the original manga certainly plays a huge role in shaping this perception. At the end of the day, Goku is a complex character who embodies many traits, both admirable and questionable. That's what makes him so fascinating. What do you think? Is Goku a true hero? Or is he simply a powerful fighter with a complicated sense of morality? I'd love to get y'all's thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click the card you see here, which will take you to my video explaining why Gohan is not the fighter you think he is. I'm the Curly Hero Kage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.